Now, previously there had been no dash that stocks migrate to Africa. Previously there had been no dash that stocks migrate to Africa. Let's see. This was a truly defining moment in the history of ornithology because it was the first evidence that storks spend their winters in sub-Saharan Africa. Yes, and I tell you why. They said it was the first evidence. When they say it was the first evidence, it means there was no evidence. They say previously there had been no evidence. And for that they said it was the first evidence. Correct answer is evidence. Question number 37. Little was known about the dash and journeys of migrating bird. Dash and journeys. Answer will come with journeys. Okay, little was known about the dash and journeys of migrating birds. So let's see what that is. You can still see the arrow stalk in the zoological collection of the University of Rostock in Germany. People gradually became aware that European birds moved south in autumn and north in summer, but didn't know much about it until the practice of catching birds and putting rings on their legs became established. Before this, very little information was available about the actual destinations of particular species and how they travelled there. Exactly, and how they travel there. How they travel is journey and destination is the answer. Okay, and in the audio I think they used plural word. You can still see the arrow stalk in the zoological collection of the University of Rostock in Germany. People gradually became aware that European birds moved south in autumn and north in summer, but didn't know much about it until the practice of catching birds and putting rings on their legs became established. Before this, very little information was available about the actual destinations of about the actual destinations and particular species and okay and their and how they traveled there how they traveled there answer is destination question number 38 please it was thought large birds carried small birds on some journeys because they were considered incapable of traveling across huge dash underline the word huge and write their word vast or vast in American English. Vast. Huge or vast. Now, whatever they say for huge or vast, that after that, whatever the word comes, that will be your answer. People speculated that larger birds provided a kind of taxi service for smaller birds by carrying them on their backs. This idea came about because it seemed impossible that small birds, weighing only a few grams, could fly over vast oceans. Fly this idea over was vast supported by oceans. Vast means huge. Okay, you understand mechanism in part four? This is how it goes on. Okay, oceans is the right answer. Singular or plural, no problem. Because there is no verb after that. Question number 39. Ringing depended on what is called the dash of dead birds dash of dead birds and there is inverted commas okay ringing depended on what is called the dash of dead birds the development of bird ringing by a danish school teacher hans christian cornelius mortensen made many discoveries possible this is still common practice today and relies upon what is known as recovery this is when ringed birds are found dead in the place they have migrated to and identified. Okay, what is known as? Now do one thing, underline called and write there known. For called, they use the word known. For called, they use the word named. N-A-M-E-D. Called or known as recovery. Answer is recovery. Question number 40. In 1931, the first dash to show the migration of European birds was printed. Again, first something was printed to show the migration of birds. For example, first map or anything like that. Yeah, let's see. First article was printed. First paper was printed. In 1931, 
An atlas was published showing where the most common species of European birds migrated to. What was published? Atlas. How do you spell? A T L A S. And you know what atlas is? It's a map of the whole world. Atlas was published to show the migration of European birds. All good? Okay, now listen. This is how we practiced one listening test together. And uh, there are 17 Cambridge IELTS books. And in each book, there are four tests. So you got to do these tests. And whenever you do the test, always make sure you understand the language given in the book or the question booklet and the language given in the audio and how these two languages are different. Once you realize this very thing, IELTS listening will become gradually easier for you, right? All the best.